Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we're in the one block sky block. I'm gonna go ahead and break this block just so you can see that this is working. And if you want to learn how to install this map in your game, in your 1.20.4 game, just stay until the end of the video and let's get started with the tutorial. The first step for downloading and installing OneBlock is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install the OneBlock original. Now, feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but if you just want to follow along this video, all you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says download. Once you click in download, that is going to redirect you over here, where you're going to scroll down until you find the desired version. As you can see right now, OneBlock has a stop at 1.20.1. Uh, they're still making the new ones. You just gotta give them a little bit of time. However, you might be saying, well, I don't want the 1.20.1. I want the 1.20.4. Don't worry, because if you download the 1.20.1, you could still add it to 1.20.4 Minecraft. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All you have to do now is click on the little three dots right here. Click download file. That is going to redirect you over here, where in five seconds, the download will start automatically for the one block original. Now, in my case, it's asking me where to save the file. But for you, it's just going to download right away. Once you have the file downloaded, you can find it here in your downloads tab within Chrome or in your downloads folder within your computer. Once you have the file, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now we got to launch our Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And while the Minecraft launcher is opening in the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a server to play with your friends and hear this, you could even add the OneBlock SkyBlock to this server. You can play with your friends on the OneBlock SkyBlock original. All you have to do is click the first link in the description and make your server with Apex Hosting. And you could even explain to them how you want the server done. Also, if you use the first link in the description, you'll get 25% off, which is not bad at all. That's a pretty great deal. You could access the server console through your phone. You could control your server through your phone. So you don't even have to be at home to be using Apex Hosting. And I'm going to leave that link in the description. Let's keep going with the tutorial. Once your launcher has opened, go ahead and find your Minecraft game, your 1.20.4. As you can see, I had Iris and Sodium, which is pretty much a shader loader for Minecraft, but you could do this in regular Minecraft. Just go ahead and find your latest release and click where it says installations. In here, you're again going to find your latest release and you're going to click on this little folder right here. And if you're using Iris and Sodium or Forge or Fabric for 1.20.4, you could also click on that folder. It doesn't matter. The world that we're going to add to Minecraft is going to show up in all your different instances of Minecraft. Go ahead and click on that little folder and that is going to open a folder with a lot of files. Within this folder, you're just looking for another folder called saves. If by any reason you don't have this save folder in here, you could create it yourself. But most of you will have a saves folder. Go ahead and open that folder up. Now in here, you might have a lot of folders or you might not have any folder at all. What you're gonna do now is right click and create a folder and name it one block. I'm gonna name this one one block 1.20.4 actually. You can name it whatever you want actually. This is just so we know where to add our zip file, right? Actually, let me fix the name of this folder. Let me add the K, there we go. So one block, go ahead and open that folder that you just created and drag and drop the zip file into there. What you're gonna do now is extract the content. I'm gonna put extract files here and that is going to start extracting the content of this zip file. You could go ahead and delete the zip file and now you're gonna open the folder that you just extracted. Go ahead and open that folder up. Go ahead and drag all of this and press Ctrl X. We're gonna go out of that folder. Once we copied all of that, we're gonna go back to where we extracted the folder and we're gonna press Ctrl V and paste all the content in there. Once we pasted all of this, we could delete this folder, the one block original, right? Just delete it like that. And you could go back to saves and you should see the one block in here, the folder that we created. And if you open that folder up, you should see all these files. That's how it should look for you guys. If you don't have all these files within the one block folder that we created, then something is wrong. You gotta get all those files in there, okay? Once we have all the files in here, go ahead and close this folder, go back to your Minecraft launcher, launch your game. Once the game has opened, all you have to do to join your world is click on single player and find the folder that we created, the, the game that we created, right? You should see it in here. And mine is right here. And if you read here in the middle line, you see that it's called one block 1.20.4. That is the name of the folder that we created earlier. And if you want to join, all you have to do is click on play, give it a second for the game to load and you're pretty much set. If you want to play this in multiplayer, remember you could create your server using the first link in the description. But there you go. This is the one block sky block, the original one block sky block. And yeah, now you're ready to play and enjoy the survival mode. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, bye bye.